Hello. Thank you to the VidCon team for inviting us to host this session. My name is Risha and I am part of the product team at Snapchat. I am super excited to be here today with my colleagues, Swetha and Quincy, as well as two of our amazing Snap stars, Katie Austin and Bryce Xavier. Let's start with some examples of how the creators on our platform use Snapchat. Today's session is split into three parts. First, I will start with a brief introduction to Snapchat. A lot has changed in the last year or so, and we are so proud to have such a creative, vibrant, and growing community. Second, Swetha will walk you through our amazing creative features that can help you build an audience and communicate with your biggest fans on Snapchat. We are rolling these features out to thousands of creators over the next few months, and we hope you'll have fun with them. And finally, Quincy will be asking Katie Austin and Bryce Xavier how they have been using these features to date, how they have built an audience, and what their advice is for up and coming creators. So let's get started. Snapchat's community is large and growing. To date, we have more than 238 million daily active users. And this is a 17% year on year growth. We are so happy to see such a vibrant community enjoying the app, using it to communicate visually with their closest friends, learn about the world and have fun together. We reach more than 100 million people in the US alone. And to give you a sense of scale, that means Snapchat reaches more 13 to 24 year olds in the US than Facebook, Instagram and Messenger combined. So why are so many people using our app? What's at the heart of it? Well, when you really get into it, it's simple. They love talking to their closest friends. And visual communication, or talking with pictures and videos, is so much better than sending a text-based message. When we ask people, they say if they can't be with their friends, that Snapchat is the next best thing. And it is a huge privilege to work at a company that helps people communicate with their favorite people, especially after such a challenging few months. So what does that mean for creators? It turns out our community also loves using Snapchat to learn about the world around them. They do this by watching stories from their favorite creators, shows featuring their favorite Snap stars, and snaps submitted by the Snapchat community. We recently expanded our app to five screens and we have a new action bar to help you get around. You will see that content is now spread across the stories and the discover tabs. And the snap map is now even easier to find. On the stories tab, Snapchatters can see what their friends are up to and then keep watching to see stories from creators. Content from creators that they have already subscribed to will be found in their subscription section. And content from other creators that they may not follow or may be less familiar with is found in the For You section. We make it very clear on Snapchat which content comes from your friends and which content comes from other creators. So we separate the social from the media, in a sense. We believe in building products specifically designed for creators, such as these lovely two people on the screen right now. These features have been designed in close collaboration with our Snap stars, Snapchat's verified creators. We are very excited to announce that our creator features will be available to thousands of creators worldwide in the coming months. We can't wait to see what you do with them and where your creativity takes you. And with that, I will hand over to Swetha to take you through the new features. Thanks, Risha. Thanks, Risha. My name is Swetha, and I'm also part of the product team here at Snapchat. We love working directly with our creators to design experiences to help them express themselves, grow their audience, and interact with the Snapchat community. 
We've learned a lot from our snap stars and I'm super excited to share all the new features that we're going to be rolling out broadly to more creators over the next few months. Your public profile is your space to tell the world who you are and encourage Snapchatters to subscribe to you, even when you don't have a live public story. You can introduce yourself to our community by adding a profile photo, setting a bio, and pinning any stories permanently or for as long as you would like uh, straight on your public profile via highlights. For those of you who love experimenting with augmented reality, any community lenses that you build on Lens Studio can also be unlocked straight from your public profile. Snapchatters can access your public profile from Discover, Stories, Search, and Lenses. They can also share it off-platform or with Snapchatters uh, through chat. In order for you to better understand what your fans enjoy and how they interact with your Stories and Lenses, we're also rolling out advanced insights. These analytics are private and can only be accessed by you, be accessed by you or the Snapchatters that you trust via roles. You can add admins, collaborators, story contributors, or insights viewers to help you manage your public profile, post your public story, and view your insights. Are you tired of screenshotting your views right before a snap expires? Well, I have some great news for you. You'll now be able to see any snap that you've ever posted to your public story through our story archive forever or for as long as you'd like. You can delete it at any time. Snaps that you post will still expire after 24 hours, but you can always check back in your insights to see how your stories have performed and share it with any brands that you want to do collaborations with. These stories can also be added as highlights to your public profile, and you can see additional analytics on expired snaps. For example, you can see how many Snapchatters have swiped up in your attachments and interactions like tap forwards or swipe away. You can also get a sense for the demographic information of the Snapchatters who view your stories, and you'll finally be able to see how many subscribers that you have. We hope that this will help you learn more about how Snapchatters are engaging with your stories in order to better resonate with your audience and even build more viral augmented reality experience. We do this in a very privacy-centric way, providing aggregate insights about your audience without compromising the privacy of our community. Advanced Insights and Roles are a powerful new feature that we hope that you'll enjoy. Katie and Bryce will share their best practices on how they've used these features to be more successful on Snapchat. Really hope that these new tools will help you be more creative with your stories and your lenses. Last but not least, we also want you to help, we also want to help you engage with your fans and have meaningful conversations around the stories that you post through story replies and quoting. We know that the thing many of you like about Snapchat is that we don't have public comments. Well, what if we created a feature that helped you get feedback from your fans without the public bullying and harassment a lot of creators face on other platforms? Well, story replies allow fans to respond to the snaps that you posted to your public stories. The replies themselves are not public. Only you can see them. These replies will show up on your story insight screens for 30 days or as long as you open them. You can preview replies before opening them to scan through all the fan love um, easily. We've been really deliberate about separating the social from the media with our new creator features. As, as we provide you with these new tools to engage with your fans and build an audience, we wanna make sure that you can still communicate with your closest friends. You'll be able to get these story replies from your fans via insights while still allowing only your friends to contact you on your chat screen. We also give you full control. You can filter out words, phrases, or emojis that you don't want to see through your profile settings. We also try our best to filter out any mean or spammy replies um, that you don't want to see um, so that you only see replies that are relevant to you and are from genuine fans on topics that you enjoy. You can also share your fans' replies back to your public story via quoting. So far, this has been our Snapchat, Snapstar's favorite feature, and we can't wait for you to use it too. And that's our new features. A public profile with highlights and augmented reality lenses, all searchable so that Snapchatters can discover and subscribe to you even when you don't have a live public story. Insights and roles to help you get more creative with your public story and let you know what's working for you and what your fans want more of. And finally, story replies and quoting to help you have more meaningful conversations with your fans and engage with them publicly. And with that, I will hand it over to Quincy from our talent partnerships team, 
along with Katie and Bryce to explain more about how they've successfully used these features on Snapchat. Thank you, Swetha. Hi, everyone. I'm Quincy Kevin. It's great to be here with you today. And I'm also here today with Katie Austin and Bryce Xavier. So excited to Hello. have you guys. Hi. Hi what's up? <laughs> So, so Katie and uh, Bryce are two creators who are both verified in our SnapStars program. And Katie and Bryce have had access to these features for a while now. So we thought, who better to explain how to find success with these features than two creators who have done just that? So Katie and Bryce, let's kick it off. I thought maybe we should start with a bit of an introduction here. How and when did you guys get started as creators? What was the journey? And to make it easy, Katie, let's start with you. Okay, awesome. What's up, guys? My name is Katie Austin. I am a snap creator. I do workouts and healthy recipes. And first off, I'm just so excited to be here because um, I feel like I'm a prime example of how these features helped me go from zero to 12 million viewers a month. Um, last month and just six months alone. So I'm really excited to be here. And I first started Snapchat just doing it authentically with my best friends and seeing that I can create real time authentic content. I knew it was something that, um, you know, my followers really, really wanted to see. So I first started on Snapchat, just, you know, Snapchatting my best friends. Bryce, what awesome. about you? Hey guys, what's up? I am Bryce Xavier. I'm a singer and Snap star that the type of content that I post is just day-to-day -day kind of vlogs into my life, different covers and updates on my music. And it's been really awesome to be able to reach a bigger fan base because of these new features with Snapchats, checking my insights and knowing what my followers love and want to see. So definitely excited to be a prime example of how amazing and great these features can be and how they can help you grow as a creator. And Bryce, tell us a little bit about how you got started on Snapchat and as a creator. I got started on Snapchat, I'd say about six-ish years ago. Like I started posting like videos of just me with like my like friends and stuff like that in school. And then when I started getting a big social media following, I started using the app for more of a way to kind of connect with my new fans, new supporters that wanted to see the content that I was doing day to day. And I saw it as an opportunity to kind of give like these few frames of just what I'm doing during the day because other platforms and apps like it's kind of like more planned content and I felt like Snapchat was more real in the moment type of life and connection experiences and I feel like those are the type of best moments that your followers want to see because they want to know your most authentic self they want to know who you are day to day they want to know who you are without all the smoke and mirrors and I feel like Snapchat just offers that blindly it's really awesome that's awesome to hear. Katie, tell us a little bit, given that you're a fitness and sort of health and wellness creator, how do you think about differentiating your content on your various social channels? And do you also feel that your content on Snapchat is, is different than what you would post elsewhere? Well, just kind of like what Bryce was saying, I feel like it's super real-time content. You know, it's not something that's really highly produced it's really easy to create workouts healthy recipes and all my content on snapchat because it's real time it's the exact recipes that i'm doing and i think that's why the users love it they're getting the exact workout that i'm doing that second the exact recipe that i'm cooking that minute and so it's really cool to be you know almost my friend in the kitchen with me in the gym with me um and so it's real time and um, you know, not edited. It's it's for real, right then and there. And so I think they love the authentic the authenticness of that. Great to hear. Well, you both mentioned that you know your experience on Snapchat has changed a lot since um, you know we we rolled out these features to you about a year and a half ago. So I think it. I think we should dive into the nitty gritty of the features. Let's talk about insights first. How do you guys use your insights on Snapchat? And do you feel like your insights help you inform, you know, your content strategy or your decision making when it comes to planning out your content? Bryce, I'll kick it over to you to start. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. A thousand percent touching on what you're saying, how it like kind of like helps you with the type of content that you want to use, because like your insights, it's literally a whole tool that shows you like, hey, this is what worked on that day. This is what did good. This is what did bad. This is what you can improve on. And it kind of just is like a blueprint to show me like, hey, like 
I posted this type of singing video or this type of video with my friends while I was doing a dance video or something. And a lot of people were engaged with that. A lot of people kept clicking through my stories to see, hey, I want to see more of this. I want to stay updated with this. And it kind of just tells you what your followers love, what your followers want to see. And then if I see that there might be a decline a certain day that a certain piece of content might not have did as well, that might not mean that, hey, like scrap that, don't do that in total. That might mean, hey, maybe incorporate that with the thing that's doing good kind of gradually work your way into something else new that you want to do and then just kind of play it by ear because it's really awesome to get basically just like a whole like script and kind of receipt of like hey like this past week this is what did good your exact percentage the exact numbers and like it's awesome i check it out every morning every night before i go to bed because it kind of helps me hey this is what i should maybe try and film tomorrow this is what i should try and film next week and it's just really dope to see just like, hey, like my followers are really receptive to this certain type of content. And then I know what I should keep doing to keep growing and to keep gaining more of an attraction, more of an audience. That's really cool. I love hearing that it's like a daily habit for you and that you check in the morning, you check at night. Oh, a thousand Katie, percent. what about you? <laughs> yeah. See, what about you, Katie? I definitely check it every single day and not to be <laughs> dramatic. It has changed my entire experience on Snapchat because... Um, kind of like what again what Bryce is saying you can actually see the average view time so you can see what your followers are responsive to like if they're watching for 15 seconds or if they're watching for 60 seconds and kind of replicate whatever you know your followers do want to see next and the snapchat like the what they have all the analytics is so on point because they can even see your top interests, you know, um, that, you know, 15% of my followers are vegans. And I, that's something that I would mm -hmm. never know. And something really cool to note is when I first started Snapchat um, and saw my analytics, I had 75% male and, you know, I'm a fitness and um, like a self love advocate, body love. And so honestly, I wanted more women and looking at my analytics and realizing, okay, I have 75% male, male, how do I shift it? In just four months alone, I have completely shifted my demographic from over 75% female now. And you don't see that in any other platform that fast of a demographic switch because I started curating content um, to what my, I wanted my female audience to see, if that makes sense. And I could only done that by viewing my insights. And so it was really important to create a sense of like brand identity with these insights. That's really cool. It's amazing that you took those insights and you completely shifted the type of content you were making. And then you, sh and then you saw the shift in your demo, like in real time. I love hearing that. Um, yeah. So awesome. thanks for that anecdote. Okay, so let's talk about highlights. And Katie, this question is really for you because I know that you use highlights quite a bit. What do you recommend creators think about when they're making highlights? And is there any particular highlight that you would think works better on Snapchat than, than others? So again, I love highlights because for me as a workout and recipe girl, you have to go back to that content a lot, especially if I did a cardio workout that uh, like two days prior and I'm getting a lot of questions on, you know, I'd love to see that cardio workout again. I can add it to my highlights page. So it's amazing for discoverability. Basically, your Snapchats will disappear in 24 hours, but if you add it to your highlights, then it'll stay forever, which is amazing, again, to create that identity and that branding that you want. You can really curate any type of highlight that you want. You can create so many different ones. If you want it to be like aesthetically pleasing, if you want you know, your profile to have, you can decide what your highlights are. Is, if you know what I mean, you know, so for me, it's really awesome because my workouts and recipes are educational and there's something that they do have to be referred to. Um, and so something that lasts forever. So say if you just have a new user coming to your Snapchat and they don't know what kind of snaps they're going to get, they can see on your highlights what they're going to get in the future. I love that. That's a great use case. OK, well, let's. Let's move on to what I know is both of your favorite feature right now, story replies and quoting. Bryce, yes. let's start with you. <laughs> so tell us about your experience using this feature so far. How have you used it to engage with your fans? Story replies, okay, definitely by far my favorite. Um, mostly because like it's really cool to kind of 
in a sense, like have more of like organization between like chats with my friends and then chats with my supporters because sometimes when they would get mixed up, like it would be really hard to kind of like see who was saying what, why they were saying a certain thing. And the best part and best like able that I've been able to use with it is when I was posting like different songs or different things that I wanted to cover, different like ideas for videos. And I was able to get like real time replies and messages back from fans of what they wanted to see, what they wanted to see me sing and what they wanted to see me do. I was able to post a story, a snap, replying back to it saying, hey, I'm gonna do this one. I'll put, post this at like 12 p.m. tomorrow or something like that. And then you see the other replies of them getting so excited, them getting hyped about it, them sending more ideas, them sending more things that they wanna see. And it's really cool because it's like that engaging experience between Snapchatting a friend or talking to a friend or talking about it like an idea with um, a colleague or like a business or different things, but like that interaction between your supporters. And I feel like those personal connections, like we were saying before in general with Snapchat as a whole are the best part of using it because like, it's like, they're your friends, they're your family and they're the community that we built together. And the reason why we're even on here right now is because of our supporters. And it's really awesome to kind of engage with them and kind of like give back and be able to talk to them and have that communication because on no other platform, it's, it's very difficult. It's very hard, especially if a lot of like DMs or messages get cluttered. And I feel like it's perfectly organized. I can scroll through and see everything, see all the really nice messages. And it's really dope. Love hearing that. Katie, let's kick it over to you. I see you using it as well all the time. Yes, I love story replies because I can actually interact with my audience and see exactly what they want next. Like today, I just prompted, hey guys, what workout do you want today? And they can tell me what workout they want so they feel so loved. Um, and it's all about creating a sense of loyalty. So like we said earlier in the presentation too, they're not public comments. so. You know, if you do get bullied a lot on other platforms or if you have comments, you can individually reply to, to all of your users as well, which is great to create a sense of community and loyalty. And once you do start replying to some people, they continue to come back. I have seen so many of the same users comment almost every single day to me now. So once you are engaged with them, they will feel so loved. Come, keep coming back to your Snapchat content. Um, and again, like what Bryce said, it's all about creating a sense of community with it. So um, to make them feel like you're not just, you know, this random snap creator, you're actually their peer, which is for Exactly. Great to hear, yeah. I love that you guys are able to build real relationships with your fans. And it's so cool that you're seeing them come back, the same ones, over and over. And you know, it's probably a great way to understand who your top fans are. Um, so sure. love, love hearing about those experiences. Okay, the next question is for Bryce. Do you utilize the roles feature? How does it help you yes. manage your business or work with other creators? Uh, it's really awesome for collabs, honestly. And I feel like collaborations and different things like that, it's like, it's one of the biggest things I'd say with social media. And it's really awesome to kind of like cross brand fan bases and audiences with another creator or someone that might not be doing the same type of content as you or someone that is doing the same type of content as you because we all have different audiences, even if it's one person. So it's really cool because I'm able to, and I have been able to, um, give certain roles to my friends and other peers that do social media, my best friend group in my house that we live in, that we all make content together. We have each other as admin. We go in and uh, like when we're able to do certain stories or certain moments together, we'll add it to each other's stories and our fans all get excited because they're like, oh my gosh, like I recognize that person, that person, oh my gosh, they're friends, two of my favorite people in the same Snap story. And I feel like it's really awesome because you're able to kind of like, again, like I was saying, just cross brand fan bases and do content together, even if you're not together. And I feel like that's been one of the biggest and hardest things during quarantine and everything dealing with COVID-19 is not being able to have those real in-person connections. And due to this feature, I'm able to collab with my friends that aren't even in the same country as me that I couldn't do before. So it's really awesome. And day to day, literally this morning, my best friend, Ariel, we were posting to each other's story, random videos, um, instead of texting each other as like messages and our fans were all laughing at it because um, they felt like they were kind of like in on like an inside joke or like in the middle of something. So it's definitely really awesome. And it's definitely made collabing from a distance very easy and very effective. It's been really awesome. That's great to hear. We're really happy to know that, you know, it's making content creativity 
more seamless for you. And on the business side, you know, for creators who work with maybe a third party, like a management company, you know, the goal here is to just streamline and help you guys better manage your business and, and better monetize. So um, love hearing about that. So that brings me to my next question here. And Katie, I think we should start with you on this one, and then Bryce would love to hear your thoughts. Katie, are you working with brands more on Snapchat since becoming a Snap star and, and having these features? I love that you asked this because super exciting. I just got my first brand deal last week with a brand, and they loved it so much that they came to me yesterday again to do another brand partnership and collaboration on Snapchat. So my first one went so well that they want to do it again. So basically what I did was take all my insights, take how many story replies I usually get, um, and I made like a brand pitch deck on it and I sent it out and it's an awesome way to really just collaborate in another way on another platform in a really authentic way. The brand said they loved it so much because it was such real time um, content and seemed so authentic. And I actually replied to all the people who, you know, I did all the story replies and I individually replied. So you can now offer a brand so much more beyond, you know? Yeah, that's really cool. And I love hear, hearing that the brand felt like the engagement with your audience was, you know, authentic and, you know, real. Bryce, what about you? Have you had any, you know, recent experiences working with brands on the platform in your content? Yes, actually, um, a lot of brands like like Katie was saying, like they love the idea of how like engaged like it is with the new features, because with story replies, you literally can see like what they think of a product or think of uh, something that you might be promoting or something that you might be doing in real time. And you're able to take those screenshots and those screen grabs and send those out. So I definitely have. It's been it's been a few brands that I've actually worked with and a few more that have actually reached out saying that they wanted to do like videos or certain collabs and stuff like that that are part of that. And I've seen more with a lot of companies wanting me to make posts when I'm doing social posts in like a group of platforms to include Snapchat with that too. So definitely. And it's been more effective, honestly, to see like how receptive people are to brands. And even in the future for like my own merch and own things, I'll know literally what they think of it in the exact moment. Love that. Well, okay, I, you know, we're going to have to wrap this up. I could stay here all day and talk to you too, but I think <laughs> the, best, the best way to close this out for the creators listening is to really hear from you, you know, what advice you would offer to a creator who's just getting started. Do you have any tips just in general or even specific to Snapchat for an emerging creator? For sure. And yeah, we'll start with my Katie. My biggest tip is to be very consistent on Snapchat and don't be discouraged when you have no viewers. Yeah. I only started Snapchat um, as a creator the end of February and the first month or so I had no viewers and then I would only get like one or two snap replies, but reply to every single person who is writing me because create a sense of loyalty and the Snapchat algorithm is huge. They will understand if you're consistent on that app um, and try to create you know, like at least four pieces of content every single day straight from the Snapchat app is what I would say and interact, use all these features. I am living proof that these features work in helping you grow your brand, grow your public identity yeah. and create a sense of community. I went from zero viewers <laughs> to 12 million viewers last month. Um, and I think I was just like six months. Whoa. So I'm seriously living proof that these features work, you guys. I'm not just up here saying all this because uh, they work. Promise you, if you're consistent at using these features in Snapchat and growing your brand, you will grow on Snapchat. Love it. Bryce, what about you? Yeah, consistency is key. Honestly, just keep at it and just don't get discouraged. Like if there's a day that you see that your views might not be as high as another, that should just be your motivation to work harder, honestly. Find something new. If something doesn't work, try something else and just keep going and going until you find the thing that works for you. Uh, Snapchat is a great place and the tools that they have provided for you and provided for us have honestly, they've, they've changed the game. They've changed how I see social media and changed the way that I connect with my followers and even connect with myself and the own content that I love making. So honestly, just keep at it. Just keep going and just find your own lane and what works for you and success is going to come to you. Hard work pays off, honestly. And Snapchat makes it easy. Oh, I love that. That is 
Those are some great words of wisdom, guys. Thank you so much. Again, I wish we could thank keep you. chatting, but we have to uh, move on here. So thank you guys for all of the insights, the best practices, the tips. I'm sure this was really helpful for all of the creators who tuned in. And with that, we'll close out the workshop. Thank you for all the creators who listened. You know, we're so excited to get these tools into your hands and to see the type of content you guys make. Um, and then finally, a really big thank you to VidCon for inviting us to do this today. Um, we love working with you guys. So happy Snapchatting, everyone. And, you know, we'll look out for all your stories. Thanks thank again. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.